how to customise the Illustrator toolbar. Now, display the toolbar, and once you've got the toolbar, go down to the bottom, and you can see there's three little dots. Click that, and you'll bring up a panel, an edit toolbar panel. Now, at the bottom of that panel, you can do, see show various things, such as fill and stroke, colouring, and draw mode, and screen mode. And you can hide or display them, depending on there. So you can just see them disappear, click again, and they will appear. Now, to actually go to the tools, just select one of the tools, say type tool, and then just drag into that edit section. Once you've done that, you'll see it actually in that edit toolbar section. So you just go down and you can just see that again, touch type tool, just drag that and go scroll through and right down there, you can see type tool and touch type tool. Now, if you want to put them back, simply just select them in that edit section and drag back into the toolbar. Now select that and drag it into an empty area and you can just see it, it's just added on its own. Now type tool, drag that and drag it onto a tool. So it will be added to the group. So you can zoom, zoom tool, arc tool and type tool. A weird combination, I agree. Now what you can do then, you can actually select the type tool and then just drag up to maybe one of the other areas there, the type tools. So you can just see there, area type, etc. It's right at the bottom. Now, what you can do then is you can just drag them. Now, if you want to reorder, so obviously the order is now a bit odd. So you might want the type tool at the top. Now, just drag all the tools from that type tool. So area tool, type on path tool. Just drag them across into the edit section and that one as well. Now, right, what you can do, put them back. So you can just drag the type tool into an empty area. Vertical type tool, drag it on top of the actual type tool, so you can see now type tool and vertical tool. And again, select one of the other ones. Now, you can see there the touch type tool is somewhere else. So what you can do, just go down to the toolbar, you can see it right at the bottom. Click on that, select it and drag it up to the tools and it will be added to there. So type tool, vertical and then touch type tool. Again, go to the edit section, just drag across and you can add it, drag it to a, an empty area and just drag it. So you can see now you've got the, a group, you've also got the area and the type path on the separate ones. You can also, once if you've made a complete mess of it, what you can do, you can reset it. Just go to the right side of that panel and select the reset command. You can also just drag them backwards and forward all the time, up to you what you want to do with the tool. So, so say you've got print tiling tool. I never use it, so drag it into the edit section and that's it it's gone and again if you want it you can just drag it back and put it into its own little section and you can see all the various tools still there and you can go backwards and forwards just add them and you can always reset at any time just put it back to the default so you can't ruin it so it's just i hope you found this of interest please subscribe always adding new tutorials also, please, any feedback, that'd be great. Some comments. Thank you much.